delightful, tasty, creamy cake. Creme and yogurt cake here with cranberry topping. Great idea for your Thanksgiving dessert. Come on in to Jenny's Walk. Let's make this divine dessert together. Okay, foodies, so to put this lovely cake together, first I want to start with my topping. So here I have my fresh cranberries. I'm going to add it into this pot. And to this, I'm gonna add all my spices. So let's take a look. So here I have two orange peel I'm gonna drop in there. And this here is a quarter teaspoonful of salt. And there's that, and this is my spices. I have one bay leaf, one piece of cinnamon, one star anise, one green pod of um, cardamom. I have three of these, one went in already. That's all spice, and here I have five Cloof. Now we're going to have to fish all this out. So this is why I'm counting exactly what I'm putting in there. To this, I'm going to add one cup of water. I may need a little more as we go by and we see how that um, cranberry pop and the flavors and the texture. We're going to know if we're using more. So, and this is a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. If we need more, as I say, sometimes the cranberries is very, very sour. So we're going to take a look and see. I'm going to put this now on medium heat and I'm let it come to a boil. So this will be the topping for that lovely yogurt creme cake from Jenny's Walk. Great idea here for your Thanksgiving dinner table. Something a little different here. You know here at Jenny's Walk, we're here to learn, we're here to share and we're here to create. Okay, foodies, foodies, to put this lovely um, yogurt creme cake together here i have my four eggs at room temperature i'll be using four yogurt you could use your greek yogurt a little dash of angostura but i'm going to be using creme fraiche or if you have mascarpone cheese you could use that as one cup you need and i have some cornstarch and i have three quarter cups of fine white sugar so this first of all we're going to add that in and i'm going to beat this until it gets really creamy and nice love Okay, so this have beaten up really nicely. So now what I want to add to this, I have here the fresh grated, you could use lemon zest or orange zest or lime zest. Any one of the zest that you wish to use, you go ahead. And to this, I want to add that Angostura bitters from the house of Angostura. Nice little drop there. And I'm gonna give a little sprinkle of allspice, just a little, maybe one eighth or quarter. So now let's mix this up for a good minute. Really beautiful. So now it's time to add our yogurt in. So now that all our yogurt is in there, our four cans of yogurt, sorry, four containers of yogurt, those little containers, is actually equivalent to two cups. And now we're going to add the fresh creme, which is one cup to the measurement. So let me get all of this in there. So now that all of the creme fraiche is in there or mascarpone cheese, whichever one you're using, and our yogurt, we're gonna give this now a good mix. Smells great already. Lovely yogurt creme cake here from Jenny's Walk. Don't forget to like and share and you could send me stars, my dear foodies, here at Jenny's Walk. So now in goes in one tablespoonful of cornstarch. So let's give this now a good mix and combine everything together. So foodies, here is my pan and you're just going to cut a big piece of parchment paper and just dunk it in there just like so with your hands and fold it around. You want this to be rustic like country style whatever shape it takes we're gonna be happy with that you see that this is what I want this is how you're gonna do your pan and now let's get all that that butter in just like so wow this smells so inviting I can't wait to taste my dear foodies we're gonna give it a nice little pat like we would do all over the cakes little pat and we're gonna get some air bubbles coming up there you go marvelous now into the oven at 325 I'm gonna go like 55 minutes but we're gonna check and see once we hit that 45 50 minutes we're going to check on it and to see that a toothpick will come out clean and we will know we'll be all done so don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe here from Jenny's walk great idea here for the festive and holiday season so foodies I fish out all the aromatics from in there and this is our our topping for that lovely cake that's in the oven now so in here I have some warm water 
and I'm going to add two tablespoon, two teaspoonful, sorry, of starch. Just make it combine together and let it dissolve really well. And I want to add it into into this topping. Now, if you have cornstarch, if you have rice flour starch, or if you have uh, yuca starch or cassava starch, any one of them will work. So you just add it in and give it a good mix, and it's going to get all thickened up. Because when you so this looks really nice, and before it get all clumped up, I want to add some dry cranberries and some raisins if you have, and now let this cool. And foodies, if you want to put just a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper in here, it's going to give it a really nice flavor. It's going to just make it pop. There you go, because foodies. Our cake is out of the oven. It's very hot, beautiful color I have here. So I'm going to let this cool, and then I'm going to put it into the refrigerator for a couple hours or even overnight and then we will move to the other step now once you take it out of the oven it's going to start to deflate a little bit so if you see your cake deflating that's perfectly fine that's the way this cake is lovely cake here from jenny's walk okay foodies so this is our cake you see how marvelous it came out all in the paper and i really want to leave it in the paper so when you present this to your guests, you have that lovely country style look and it's also very easy to move. So this is your cake already baked and you put it into the refrigerator and let it get all cool and nice. You see the texture of the cake? There you go. So now remember our filling. So here's our filling. You're just going to put your filling on and you're just going to place it in the top. You're not going to do it very thick, just very thin. And you're not going to go too much to the ends. Just put your filling on. This looks perfect. If you want a runny filling, you also could do that. This is more of a jelly type filling. So this is marvelous. So now let's cut into our cake now. So nice little cut. It's very soft and nice. Give it a nice little turn again. And another lovely piece right there. I can't wait. I'm so excited to check on this cake. Okay, that's the oven there. And just get in there. Lovely slice of cake. Take a look at that texture. This here is the filling that went in with the cutting of the knife. Look at that texture. Beautiful cake here from Jenny's Walk. Lovely yogurt and creme cake. That looks divine beautiful let's take a taste now so it's time to try that lovely cake i just want to get into that cake look at that beautiful creamy texture mmm wow really creamy and nice a nice sweet sour tangy of that filling in there i really do love this cake the creamy goodness, silkiness of the cake, I guess it's with from the creme fraiche and the yogurt. And it's not sweet at all. Just perfect. So lovely dessert here for you to enjoy this Thanksgiving with your friends and your family and your guests, my dear foodies. Come on in and try this cake quick and easy. Low budget, few ingredients needed. It's just going to take you about three hours to put together because you need to put it in your refrigerator. Dine in. Any topping you can use, but I choose to use the cranberry because it is uh, Thanksgiving. So thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.